Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find dy dx using implicit differentiation. So to do this, we're going to take the derivative of both sides. Now on the right hand side we have a secant function, and inside the function uh, we have 1 over y. So when we take the derivative of this right hand side, we're going to have to multiply um, by the derivative of the inside. So we have to keep that in mind as we go through the problem. Okay, so solution. So on the left hand side, when we take the derivative with respect to x, we just get 1. On the right hand side, we're taking the derivative of the secant of 1 over y. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So we have secant of 1 over y tangent of 1 over y. And now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So times the derivative of 1 over y. So 1 over y, so we can go to the side here. You can think of this as y to the negative 1. So when you take the derivative of y to the negative 1, what you do is you bring down the negative 1, and then you get y. You subtract 1, so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, times the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of y is simply dy dx. So this derivative here will be negative y to the negative 2 dy dx. And this is the key uh, to implicit differentiation, right? You're multiplying by the derivative of the inside. You're using the chain rule. So if you had y squared, let's just say, and you took the derivative, it would be 2y dy dx. Right, because you bring down the 2, you subtract 1, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The inside function is just y, and its derivative is dy dx. If you have x squared, it'd be the same thing, except it'd be 2x times, and then dx dx. But dx dx is 1, so we never write that. So that's the key. That's the, that's the hardest part uh, for people to understand. All right, we're almost done. Now we're just going to divide by everything except the dy dx. We're going to divide by all of this stuff. So basically, I'm going to take all of this and just write it down here under the 1, like this. 1 over negative y to the negative 2, secant 1 over y, tangent 1 over y, beautiful stuff, equals dy dx. And technically, that is the final answer. It just looks really bad. So we could probably do uh, a better job of writing it. So let's do that. So I'm going to write dy dx on the left here. Okay, and this negative, let's put it up front. Uh, the y to the negative 2, if we bring it upstairs, it becomes positive, so it's y squared. And then we can rewrite this, you know, 1 over secant is cosine. And then 1 over tangent is cotangent. So a much, much prettier way uh, to, to write the answer. If you have a hard time uh, going from here to here, it's okay, you can think of it like this. This is going to look ridiculous, but I'll do it. Check it out. You can write the whole thing like this. Right? It's the same thing. I mean, that's how you think of it in your head, right? And then, and then what you do is you bring it up so it becomes this, which, which is our answer, right? Cotangent of 1 over y. So a really intimidating looking problem. Uh, but once you understand it, um, it's really easy. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Good luck.